My name is Jim Coop. I'm the principal here at Shoreham Academy. And for me, the FA Secondary Schools program um, has been an excellent addition to the way in which we work here as a school. Um, it forms part of our student leadership uh, approach, which in turn is part of leadership all, at all levels. For us, uh, a real key difference that a programme such as this has made has been to the behaviour of students and the overall attitude of students within school. Uh, they are far more aspirational and far more ambitious in their thinking um, and they develop great levels of independence uh, through their experiences and opportunities at leadership. This not only helps them in terms of um, the way in which they're working in school now, but very much benefits them in the way in which they're thinking and their ambitions for the future above and beyond school life. Here at Shaw Academy we have a successful girls football club um, and one of the key things is because of female student leaders um, that act as positive role models for our younger students in Year 7. Hi, I run the Interschools Football Programme here at Shaw Academy. One of the reasons I feel it's been very successful is because we've got students who deliver the sessions to both peers and also younger students. Okay, so my name's Luke Sibwell and I'm a trainee teacher here in Physical Education at Shaw Academy. The idea of having those student leaders, almost for a teacher, enables us to really place the emphasis on them. Even if it's a short while at the lesson, for a warm-up, or for actual structural parts of the lesson whereby they're providing feedback to one another. By doing so, if they're able to come out and lead their own warm-up, it also models effective behaviour. So those students that step forward, it models the behaviour to the rest of the group. Often students will respond really well to their peers if they're asking instruction. It also enables them to have an opportunity to actually lead that part of the lesson if it's in a subject they're confident with or not so confident with. Most students will be able to lead a warm-up and a dynamic stretch routine. Therefore, all students are engaged from the offset and as the teacher, it gives me the opportunity to actually set up what I need to set up around and about them, be it part of my session or part of my lesson. By doing so, the students are actually in activity, but they're self-led and that gives me the opportunity to set up what I need so that smooth transition, that slick transition after their warm-up enables them to go straight into my activity. Hi, I'm Charlotte Dunstan. I'm our primary school sports coordinator. I run football events for our primary schools um, and it's sort of in place to have a transition from primary to secondary. We also have our young leaders who are trained uh, to officiate and run football games and they support these events. They again support the transition but equally they are brilliant role models for the younger students. Football plays a vital part in our leadership programme. We've been involved in the secondary schools uh, programme with the FA for a number of years. Uh, within that programme we use volunteers, teachers and students to come out and run additional extra activities for our students. We run a friendly football club on a Monday after school for all the years in the school, boys and girls. The, we then find that we have our leaders coming out to run that club once they've been there a couple of years and they want to take over the ownership of it. That gives them more confidence, grows resilience and then enables them to use those skills not only within football but within everything they do within their life. We also offer opportunities for leadership through the FA Level 1 course which ensures that our leaders then come back into lessons, come back into clubs, go into their own club and work and use those skills in their coaching. We have a number of trained referees from the school as well that have their referee through the Sussex FA and they've actually been refereeing games for us both into school games and going on our own houses and in games against other schools and that's proved vital for us to uh, and almost ease the workload on our staff because we have students that are at such a good level of leadership that they can take on that responsibility.